Okay, I have the potatoes and some seasoned water with paprika. The season with paprika and the season blend. They're fork tender, so I'm about to take them out in a few minutes so I can mash them. I'm gonna mash these up, and then I'm gonna mix them with the uh, plantain flour. That's right here, it's one cup of plantain flour. And I'm gonna take the plantain flour and put it in this pot. One cup of plantain flour in this pot. And I'm gonna take the water from the potatoes the hot water and put it into the uh, plantain and stir it up and make my plantain flour and then I'm going to mash the potatoes and put them inside the plantain inside the uh, plantain flour so that's what I'm about to do Now I want it at this consistency, gloppy like this, because I'm, I'm going to lay it out on a, in a, a sheet pan, lay it out flat, and let it cool, and then that way I can make the um, the rest of the um, Papa's Lorenas for you. So I'll show you how I do it. Now I have it laid out, I laid it out flat because this is how I separate it, pick it up and separate it, and I'm gonna let it cool. Right now I'm seasoning up, I'm sauteing up some seasoned onions. On here I just have some pepper and uh, I think I have some lemon pepper on here. Lemon, lemon pepper and black pepper. So I'm just seasoning it up. Oh, and herbs. And I'm just seasoning it up, seasoning it, sauteing it up. And then I'm going to add the fish. Sauteing up my onions. Now I'm about to add my fish. I'm putting a little seasoning. So I'll wait. I'll wait to put the seasoning. I'm going to put in a little lemon pepper. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to put lemon pepper. I'm just going to put in a squeeze of lemon into this, and that'll be the seasoning for the fish. The onions and a little squeeze of um, pepper. That's gonna be my filling. Well, for the fish, the fish, um, Papa Selena, Papa Selena. So I did the onions with herbs, a little, pe a little squeeze of lime, a little sugar, and a little salt, and that's my filling. I almost forgot the spaghetti sauce, the tomato sauce. Just a little small can. And mix that all in, and that's my filling. Let this simmer down some out of the pot, and then once it simmer down and dry out a little, then I can use it as my filling. Okay, I like how this looks. So it's pretty dried out. So this is it. It's done for me. So I'm gonna use it. Now my um my dough for this is ready. This is the um the plantain and the sweet potatoes. I did it in little sections so I could be able to spoon out just a little piece and then to make the um to make the patty. So I'm gonna take this little bit and then I'm going to Put it on here and roll it around in some flour and put some flour on my hands definitely you have to put flour on your hands a lot in order to incorporate the flour into this dough and to make a little pat patty I'll show you in one second you can see how I got my hands floured I have both of my hands floured and the baking sheet I'm rolling it around a little bit on there and then I'm going to turn this into a nice little flat patty so that I can put the meat in them
And now I'm going to fold this up, roll this up, and shape it into a little ball. And let the meat, meat and cheese be covered by the potato dough. Once I do that, I'll shape it and have it get ready to be fried. So you can see I rounded it out into a nice little shape. I'm going to see if I can dip it into these breadcrumbs. Yep, let's put in some breadcrumbs. I'm going to dip them into some breadcrumbs and see if it'll make it a little crunchier. And then I'm going to have them set and ready to go to be fried. As you see, I'm trying to make the fish ones a little bit bigger. So I got two pieces of cheese. I'm going to see if I can make it bigger in the, with the um, salmon. Let's 